Welcome back, my friends. I'm with my buddy Simon and TTL. You probably see some really cool parts on this table right now, and you probably want to know more about what TTL is and what they're doing based on the coolness of the parts and the coolness of this guy. So let's get right into it, Simon. TTL, what do you do? Who are you? What are you making? Who do you support? <gasps> okay, I'm out of questions. What do you have for us, my friend? Take, take a breath, Tony. Thank right. you. It's TTL, okay, it's uh, a business which has been around for 35 years, and it's all about adaptive machining. So it's solving problems for customers with cast, forged, and additively manufactured components that have uh, free-form geometry problems on them. You know, they don't conform to the CAD model. So our approach is to apply Siemens NX as the, the CAD CAM engine to be able to uh, use measured data to collect information about the differences of those parts and how they differ from the CAD model, and then update serialized CAD models so that you can get to a position that uh, a toolpath can be updated for each serialized part. Now that is exactly what uh, businesses in the gas turbine market have been needing for this period of time, and hence TTL's uh, evolution of this technology and bringing it to the marketplace. So that is what TTL does, and it's something that we have uh, been very passionate about and service around the globe. Simon, standing here, I can tell you that instantly I go, oh gosh, you picked the most difficult areas of manufacturing to try and Yep. Excel or, or, or allow us to do better in when you said forgings, when you said cat. I mean, I've had the headaches myself when you think mm -hmm. about how none of them ever show up the same. They're always going to be a little bit different. Yep. You've decided to jump into that world where I actually see these things being machined all the time in different industries. We have some parts here, yep. but I've seen it now in the gun industry. I've seen it in, in different areas all around. So. I want to dive in a little bit deeper, and you've done a great job of overview and the fact that you've been around so long uh, improving this technology and taking care of everyone on a global level. What and how do you guys help us create more successes in these world? Obviously, you've partnered with Siemens. You mentioned that as well. Great technology. But I, I'm just curious to know more about how this actually works. Sure. Well, ultimately, it's all about taking that measured data, be it uh, discrete probe points taken from a CNC machine, which mm -hmm. is the simplest way to collect information when you're making something, or if you need to take off uh, information from a CMM or a, a blue light scanner or a, a non-contact non structured light system. Any of those systems is, is, is a metrology source. So it's bringing metrology into the machining environment and then updating uh, the, the toolpaths on a serialized part basis. So doing that well, that's what we do. We do it as a closed loop. That's fascinating. I, 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 and I have another curiosity. Is this happening all simultaneously while we're trying to sort out how to machine it, how to work it, whatever environment that we're taking these forgings and these castings into, mm -hmm. are you doing all of this at the same time as we're trying to produce product? Sure, so it's a closed loop process. You attach to a machine tool. So it's effectively a, a CAD CAM license and automation solution plugged into a machine and then you hit the green button and you walk away. And it just will deal with all of that variation from part to part that traditionally has required you to be really cautious and then take that component for lots and lots of hand finishing. So removing those human processes is what we're all about. I like it. I like it very much. And I know that you out there have a lot of questions, much like myself. And I think Simon and I probably should do a podcast together, but we don't want to drag this out for you watching right now. However, stay tuned because we have a couple of technical corners coming where we're going to dive further into this industry, into this world, where we'll talk more in detail of what's going on. Simon and I both wanted to offer you an overview, who we are, what we do, what we're going to be doing for you as well. For someone who's more interested in this moment, before we even get to those technical corners, <laughs> What kind of, where, where can they find you? What's your website, socials? Where can they look you up? Okay, so it's ttlsolutions.com. We'll, uh, we'll share this online um, and on the video, no shout. And our hope is that you just contact us. Our role is to advise. That's the first thing we do. We, we tell folks how to uh, take advantage of some of this technology and apply it to their problems. And we do that on a global basis. So get in contact. Get in contact receive the advice. This is TTL, ttlsolutions.com. This is my buddy Simon. Also tune into those technical corners. We got them coming through MTD for you.